Hey, Michael Douglas James here, Mike, coming back at you with a brand new video. What do we want to talk about today? Let's talk about a new iPhone rumor, iPhone 8 or iPhone X, whatever it's going to be called, rumor that is uh, going around. So uh, according to the Wall Street Journal, it was confirmed, confirmed that the phone will not have Touch ID. Um, which kind of makes sense if you look at you know what the mockups are out there and the concept designs that have been rumored and some saying it's basically officially this uh, it kind of makes sense that there won't be a touch id on the front of the phone since you know you're not going to have that little ring right there you know the little ring um you're not going to have the home button um and then the rumor was that they would integrate it into the screen put it on the back but we all know it's not going on the back because that's not cool um and then integrating it into the screen i just don't think that they're there yet so this does make sense but here's my thing i'm not going to confirm anything until apple confirms it um having the wall street journal confirm it doesn't make anything do anything for me if they confirm it on the 12th of september then awesome I will 100% agree with them, but um, until then, I, I really don't know. Um, so it's just a rumor, but here are my thoughts. I think that, you know, Touch ID is kind of getting, uh, they could get past that without it, it. I mean, you're not going to have your little kids while you're sleeping unlock your phone by just taking your thumb and pressing the button. So that's a good thing for you parents out there. Um, but... I mean, they can move past it. If they go to a retina type thing and maybe do the retina better than what, um, a, what's it called, Samsung does, then that would be awesome. It's, I, I could see down the road in a couple years where Touch ID wouldn't be appropriate to use anymore. Kind of would be useless when there could be other things they could do. But today, it just seems a little bit off. I do, I like my Touch ID, but I like the old way where I could swipe to unlock and just type in the numbers now pressing the button and hopefully it works and sometimes it doesn't work it's a, a little bit annoying um so we'll see with that also i want to know how is the phone going to unlock that's going to be is it is it going to be definitely with your eyes then um but at the same point how do you unlock it for do you have to be the person to continuously unlock it for a child um can you still put in the code i'm not sure about that but rumors like this for me like I get where it's coming from, and I can totally see that based on what the phone is supposed to look like. I can totally see that it will be gone. It's just hard to say it's confirmed when it's, you, you know, uh, haven't officially heard from Apple yet if it is confirmed. That's the thing that gets me. That's the only one that gets me. So on September 12th, when these things are confirmed, then I'll totally 100% be like, oh my god, it was amazing. But until then... I'm just like, uh, no, I'm not, I don't, I don't get it, not today, not getting it. So those are my thoughts, um, I am going to take everything with a grain of salt until the 12th, if anybody keeps saying stuff is confirmed, which that's in four days anyways. So it is September 8th, like if you like, dislike if you dislike, subscribe if you're awesome, and peace out Girl Scouts.